So it's not. Today is 6th of July 2017 at Tapayo Vet. This is a male 7 years old Siberian Husky which is castrated. And the owner complained that it has smelly ears and also painful ears at both sides. And discharge now? Oh, there, there are also discharge shh, 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 shh. from okay. the both of the ears. Okay, now I ask the owner. So what's the main complaint for this year? For a reason for coming here, yeah. The discharge. The discharge and smell, right? Yeah, the discharge. For both years. Yeah. Okay, uh, that, that is the complaint. Okay, now physical examination. Okay, don't do. It's painful. Palpation will know already. Actually, it's painful. So don't scope when it's painful. We got it. Is it painful? Palpate the lateral canal. You know where's the lateral canal? Is it painful? Okay, oh, yes. the left is painful. The right one. Oh, also okay, painful. Okay, so now the complaint is painful, that's all. And uh, what's the next step? The next step, we will sedate this dog and then we will do ear irrigation on both of the ears. Mm. Finish already. And then... What did I talk to the owner? I mean, so many things that's... Uh, and then we will give uh, anti-inflammatory and also painkillers for around 3 to 4 weeks. After the uh, information has reside, then we will continue with the operation where we open up the lateral ear canal for ventilation and also we will reach into the horizontal ear canal to see whether there's any foreign body that is causing all this otitis external. Hmm. What's the name of the operation you forgot, you see? Has a bad one. No name of the surgery. What's the name of the surgery? Lateral ear canal ablation. Hmm. Lateral ear canal resection. There's one 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 uh, option. Uh, that's most common. The other option I can do is the vertical ear canal ablation. That means the vertical ear canal, the whole ear canal, taken out, take it out. So that you're left with the horizontal canal with opening, mm. and then the the pass and all this will be discharged from there. Mm. Then you take a forceps and go into the horizontal canal after the you open up ready then you pull out all the debris all the dirt uh, all the mainly the, the dead cells and, and and then you drain you irrigate the horizontal canal as well then the owner will have to maintain the horizontal ear canal because she has to maintain it in the sense that she put eardrops onto the horizontal canal and then check it every month until such time that the whole, whole ear canal is uh, Clearly, then she doesn't need to do it. But the advantage of this operation is she doesn't, the dog doesn't suffer this pain uh, recurring again since 2012 uh, to 2017. Sorry? Yes. Okay. So, this is a case of uh, chronic arthritis external. Now, the dog, the treatment of this uh, very bad infected pus and pus inside the ear canals and, and smelly, painful ear is by ear irrigation. Now, to do that, the dog has to be sedated first. So, now to sedate the dog, so just like I taught the intern, either you use Tony K or your, your, your finger is uh, quite strong and, and you, you, you uh, can feel the vein here. So, once you feel the vein here, then the, the, the vet will inject. Either that I use a Tony K. Where's the Tony K? You use a Tony K, but don't shave, don't shave the hair. Don't shave the hair. Best is not to shave the hair. Where's, where's the tonic key you put in? Down there. Second drawer. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we're going to try to put the tonic key around. So what What you do around behind, uh, behind the elbow? Just, 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 just undo tight, tightly, tightly, very tightly. And uh, normally, tightly and then tight. Uh, and then you can, then you apply uh, alcohol. You wet it, you can see, uh, you can see the, the uh, then put your hand here, and, and you can you can feel it. You put the hair, and you can feel the vein there, then you inject the sedation, in this case, dometer plus ketamine, 0 0.5, 0 0.4 dometer, and 0 0.5 ketamine IV, and uh, then uh, the dog is sedated, as you can see now, and uh, it's 50% of the calculated dose for this 24 kg now. We go to here now the dog is not really 100% down. So we will top up with the 
isoferrin gas, closed circuit, the red is closed circuit, you can zoom into it, closed circuit is red, uh, I put at 2% has the maintenance dose or top up dose and uh, the flow rate about 1 litre per minute, the oxygen flow rate, okay, and there's the oxygen generator where they generate oxygen from the air rather than the cylinder, that is the cylinder, stand by. Okay, so now the, put the cone in, then uh, we'll just check the blinking reflex. Come, check the blinking reflex. Once the blinking reflex is gone, then I will do the the ear irrigation. Now the thing is, you, you can see the the, the back, the, the rebreathing back. You can see the rebreathing back. And although it's closed circuit, but uh, the, the rebreathing back is is moving very well. Huh? Now, so I, I don't think it's really close. So if it's close, the, the back will fill up. Let's see, see, change the red one to a bit, turn a bit more. Maybe it's not close. Turn some more. Focus on, on what we are doing. Don't don't go and sleep. Huh? Uh, uh, so if, if it's really close, then the back, reading back wouldn't be. Uh, would not be moving because it will be inflated. So turn some more. Turn the, the red one to, to, to a stage where it doesn't... Uh, uh, this one is more closed. Uh, I see the back should be full unless it's a leak. Okay, so now we go at this check and see and then we will start with the irrigation ready. At 2% maintenance dose, I will just demonstrate a bit. Is it down? Blinking? Okay, so you can see the year is pretty bad. You see, this is a, since uh, five years ago. The first time I do year irrigation was five years ago, uh, and the owner treated it with uh, occasional ear drops and so on and so forth. But uh, it's got worse. I can see there the ulcers, the pus, and uh, well, just take the cotton bud and show. Show the past. Okay. But you can see that uh, it's really bad. You see, it will be painful. It will be a lot of anesthetic. You see, even blood there. This is really bad. That's why the owner comes. Now the right ear also similarly painful, but we we, we are doing the left ear first. Okay, so. Uh, we put at two and a half percent if it's not uh, a bit two and a half. Uh, that's the maintenance dose. Okay, so this is a phone. Oxygen. I don't know when oxygen is full or not. Maybe put to one. Uh, normally I use one or two. Yeah. Okay, ready. So just demonstrate the uh, the irrigation come come here first. Now. The year equation is actually just use clean water, put it there, and then just 45 degrees. And uh, probably 20 ml syringe. So the, the, it just the irrigate the pass out. Where the pass comes out. You can see uh, the, the, you see the debris. There's a lot of debris here coming out. So I just use a tissue to, to clean up. So the best is of course to flush it up as much as you can on the debris. You see that mm. the, the dog can't get it out and the owner can't get it out because it's painful. Now it you can see it's really bad. So I'm gonna do some more. Okay, irrigation, 45 degrees. You need the anesthetic, otherwise the dog will, will be very painful. Yeah, there is it coming up. You can see here. So at 45 degrees, the more come out there. And then massage the vertical canal. This one leave out a bit. This leave out a bit. Yeah. Out a bit. So we tilt out a bit. No, we open our tilt. Ok, 
here anyway. I will start uh, I will put the this like here. You see more debris coming up there. Okay? So there's no point for the vet to go and put ear drops and, and just clean the ear canal from from uh, it's just sedation, no? it's just sedation and hopefully that to, to clear the debris with cotton wool and forceps it doesn't work that way. Okay, so it's really quite a bit of force, uh, not just slow and you, know, you can see more debris coming out there, mm. more debris. Okay, so 45 degrees, this is the air canal. The dog doesn't feel the pain because of the gas and the you know. And uh, this is really a bad case. Normally, I just, I just do 10 times. Uh. Okay, so. And then. And uh, yeah, get rid of the pass first. Yeah. And, the, and all the debris. You, see, you can see mm. the, the cloudy. Cloudiness, huh? The pass, huh? Okay. This by zoom can you no need to put the camera nearby. That's how you use the zoom. That's the purpose of the zoom in. Okay, so I do 20 times. There is 61. Now I reduce to, to 1% because the dog is no more, it's more, it's, it's much more anesthetized. Where you come? And uh, you can see it's really inflamed, uh, very badly inflamed. Okay, so further up a bit. Further up. No, I don't want the water to, to go to the camera. Okay. Okay. The horizontal canal is the one causing the, the trouble, but uh, so we try to, try to uh, string up the dirt. Yeah. It becomes clearer, clearer, and then I just check with the cotton bud. So it should be much. It should be much. Uh, there should be no pass coming out. It's much cleaner, you see. Mm. Much cleaner, but so that the owner can continue with his ear drop for this tube blood because of ulceration. But technically it's much cleaner as compared to, so I do another five more. Then I go to the next year. Some more. And uh, as you can see, there's no point using uh, some commercial ear, ear drops and all this. Some best will do that, but for me I prefer clean water. Clean water and... Uh, so that there won't be any chemicals going inside the ear, affecting the ulcers. You see, the ulcers are there. There's some more debris. Huh? No, you cannot do 100%. So, that, so after three weeks of medication and treatment, will be will be to do the cutting here, cut out the the wall here, mm -hmm. cut the rectangular piece here. This is called the lateral ear canal resection throw away this wall, this, this cartilage, and the whole uh, vertical canal will be opened up because you cut this rectangular piece of cartilage off. Huh? Okay, I'm going to finish this and then I go to the, the other ear. Uh, of course, you have to do the vigorous uh, uh, rubbing, hoping to dislodge the, the debris in the horizontal canal. Huh? Okay, finish. So now I'm going to turn over the other side. Oh, it's not really right here. Yeah. So. This right here is smelly as so, well. Uh, and uh, I'm going to check whether there's a lot of parts inside or you not. Know. So I'll take a copy of that. A good one, good quality. I will check. Now the dog is really down already, actually. Yeah. You can see it's already down. You can see the eye, eye, eyeball, the eye white. 
is seen, the sclera is seen, so I will stop all the anesthetic, put the zero, in the zero. We do need the anesthetic already, and uh, we will continue after the switch off. And so now I check, I almost check here and see, okay, that is zero, no. Put it in, to the vertical canal, it's quite far in, huh? Did you manage to get in now? I see. Just put it down here so you can focus. Huh? This is pretty bad. Huh? This one is equally bad. So it justifies, uh, justifies turn the other side and put in again. It didn't go already in. It's quite deep. This is a big bog. Huh? See, this is bad. This is blood and ulcer and, and rotting, rotting flesh. Huh? Okay, I'll throw it away. So we start the irrigation again. There's an art in doing it because if you if don't shoot properly, it won't go into the. You, you just you know this the particular canal is here, so this one is swollen, so it's quite small, so it's a bit difficult for her. Now you see the thing come out. If, if, you, if you really get in, you can see the debris there. Eh? Just use zoom. Do why why you don't know use zoom? Oh, you laugh. <laughs> zoom will do. Okay, so you see it's really dirty. Eh? So you, you have to aim for the particular canal, which is in this case very swollen, so it's very hard to. That's a bit off, about one centimeter in it. You need to use a 20cc, eh? probably 30cc syringe will be better. Mm. Then you can see really debris come up. Okay. Okay, as fast as possible because of the. We don't want to talk too long, huh? this is the seven year old. Normally in this type of cases, 20 times female cotton bud. Okay, it just concentrate now. See the dog overall view also. Have an overview, overview also. Video, video not only just in the spot, but the top. So you can see the, 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 the ears, okay. It's not as inflamed as the other year. This one is less dark. See? So the, the cotton bud can go in, come and see that it can go in quite deep. Going quite deep now. Because it's a it's a it's a very big a very big breed. So now I take out the cotton bud. This you show that there's a bleeding below, but no more pass, huh? Then put this side. See no more pass of bleeding. Okay, you do do that. Okay, can switch off AM AM. And we have already irrigated the ears, take the cotton bud and confirm. Confirm that the come and see the ear, the ear is quite clean now. We put the cotton bud in, dip into the vertical canal as deep as possible. If you have difficulty getting in, it means you didn't get it in there. The vertical can the, the, the uh, canal is here. Yeah, it's swollen, so so the dog is gonna be covered in. See it's the blood, no? Mm. We turn the other side. But it's clean, turn the other Turn, turn. Okay, turn. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. Never mind, never mind, don't turn, don't turn. Okay, I'll give the antecedent. No, I'll give the antecedent, don't turn. Antecedent injection. I am 0 0.4 as well. To antagonize the effect of Domitor. Okay, wait a while, wait a while. Yeah, well, this is the, the, the side effect of sedation when they wake up. But uh, let's, see the, let's see the eyes blinking. Uh, 
So when the dog is blinking, it's okay. Now, that's why you learn 57, so within five minutes, you should be awake. Mm. Okay, uh, it's, it's crying because of the pain. Mm. But I'm going to give painkillers soon. Uh, but you can see, uh, we we'll just see the time. Now it's 58, 59 should be at 12. You should be able to see that now. So, there's a good thing about using antecedent, antidote. Wait, uh, wait, wait, just show, show, show him sitting up. That, that is the, the reversal of the dormitory. And uh, it's, it is useful in old jobs because we don't know whether they get depressed and, and pass away. And so, you will see him getting up there. Uh, about five minutes, uh, okay, uh, see? Yeah. He himself. Uh, if, if he don't give antecedent, he will be just lying down okay. and uh, sleeping. So now the function will come back to normal. Uh, see the time? About, about two minutes. Uh, about two minutes, right? Zoom on the uh, about two minutes. Then how come you can use the zoom now? That's not you can use the zoom. I'm used to it really. Yeah. <laughs> so you see the top, zoom under the eyes and see the uh, eyes. See him, see, see, see. You see that? Uh, see, you see that? Uh, actually, and uh, the breathing is there, so we are not worried that he will pass away. So now we, we I will give him the painkiller and the antibiotics. Uh, normally, we will use uh, either non-steroidal, uh, anti-inflammatory, or in some cases like me, I prefer a low dose of steroid plus uh, uh, antibiotics, almost like in B3. Uh, so, and uh, the ears are very inflamed, so I will give a low dose of Penicillin, but uh, mainly uh, is vitriol, subcutaneous, and this effect will last about uh, three weeks. Then the dog comes back for the lateral ear canal dissection. Okay. Mm. Three hours after ear irrigation, the dog is woken up, and uh, there's still some pain. Yeah, some pain. So we will not touch him. Okay, then walk. He can go home ready. And owner continue with ear ointment and medication. Uh, have a walk.